What is up everybody? So today I am trying to experiment. This is a fig cutting that I recently rooted and I took a two liter bottle, cut it to size so that the um, solar cup could fit, it, could fit inside of it. And what I'm gonna try to do is do a crack key uh, fig cutting. I know in the end it's gonna be tough to keep this alive if I repot it, but this is gonna be for fun. Um, if you can see, this already has plenty of roots going for it. I just moved it into this cup. Um, eventually these roots should find their way out of the cup because the cup has a bunch of holes in it and slits on the bottom. So hopefully what happens is these roots come out, suck this water up, get oxygen because they're exposed to air, and then um, keep sucking up this water until this big cutting is done using up this cracky system. Follow me for more. Hey, what's up everybody? Here's an update on the cracky big cutting. Um, looks like it's starting to root at the bottom, if you can see here. Maybe four or five roots that are in the water that is mixed with uh, fertilizer. Very small amount, so it doesn't burn the roots. And some roots are sticking out of this side and the other side. I got this on a time lapse, so just follow me and you'll be able to watch that later. All right, so here we are. Um, this thing has kind of stopped growing inside of this cracky system. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try to save it by uh, potting it up. Uh, figs are pretty durable, so you're not gonna really have much issues to trying to survive, uh, help it survive the retransplant. Um, but usually when you transplant something from a cracky system to pure soil, you're gonna have issues uh, with other plants. We'll see if I can save this one by up-potting it. I'm gonna take it out, cut the, cut, cut the cup off, and put it in this soil that is from a garden bed that has already been here for a year and a half and is full of worm castings and organic matter and everything. So it has all the nutrients for this to grow. So let's do that. So what, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this out and carefully cut the cup away from it. Um, I have scissors, which are right over here. The scissors and the eraser, whatever I need. I don't know how this is going to work out. Um, mostly just scissors. So I'm going to cut the slits at the bottom where the roots are first. Try to damage this. We'll see. I'm not worried about the mess I'm making outside. Drop perlite everywhere. Alright, so now that I got that cut 
cut. I'm going to slit it straight up the middle, the side. The cut roots, it's not the biggest deal in the world. It sucks, but the idea is to try to save this and actually get a plant in the end. So now I'm going to peel that away. And what I end up with is that. Nice big root ball, tons of roots at the bottom. These were the ones that were used to being in water, now they're going to have to be used to being in soil. Um, we'll see what happens, it might survive just, just for the fact that, uh, actually it wasn't in camera, it might survive just for the fact that it still has a uh, medium around a lot of the roots, um, but these, these roots might still survive also. So what we're going to do is pull this pot over already put some soil in. I'm going to sit it on the soil. I've put the soil at a level where I would like it. And I'm going to spread the roots out. Let me see if I can get you in here so you can see what I'm doing. So I got the roots spread out this decent amount and I'm going to start to backfill this. I'm just going to use my hand at first. You see worms in this medium it's because I got it from, like I said, I got it from my raised bed. Once I get this situated, you get it repotted and the more delicate you are with it the higher the chances of it um, surviving and not having to go through shock. This one I think will go through shock no matter what because it came out of a cracky system. Typically people don't do a cracky system with figs. This was just an experiment. Um, if you would like to try it, go ahead. It does work. I don't know how long it would work because this thing is a fig and it's going to become a large tree. I guess you could buy those, uh, those 50 gallon drums and figure out a way to do it in a 50, 50 gallon drum. Um, I don't have the space or the time to do that. Probably going to need a little bit more soil than this. Taking the pebbles out of there. Even though in some cases pebbles will create air pockets for your roots to. Hey, what's up? I forgot you guys are coming. No, I was do I'm doing a YouTube video over here. Oh. <laughs> no. All right, sorry about that. That was my friends. They came over for a second. Anyways, I'm going to put the rest of the soil in here, get it topped off. With big cuttings, it doesn't really matter how high you go, um, because you can root, it'll root at any point. It's the, kind of the same thing as tomato plants. So as you can see, this medium has been in there for a while, and it has worms. I might have killed this guy, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to leave him in there. after I get it putted up is I'll just like tap it a little bit this way you get the soil to settle in your air pockets and there you go it's all done um, I'll see if this survives I'll actually do a little follow up on it probably a short video um, to let you know if it does survive but here it is straight out of the cracky system. I did a short video on how to do the cracky system, but I'll do a full video with that in it.